everybody, welcome back to Legit Street Cars. My name is Alex, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I restore the very faded black leather seats in my 409,000 mile E39 M5. All right, and here is today's project at hand, the seats on my 409,000 mile E39 M5. So obviously, the driver's seat is always the worst one, as you can tell here. It's lost a lot of its pigment, but the good thing is this seat is not ripped or torn anywhere. So I think this is a prime candidate uh, for a very easy, a very inexpensive seat restoration. Uh, and also something else that's nice is that the foam is fully intact. So these can look really nice. Uh, and I've restored seats like this before in the past, uh, and it makes a world, a world of difference, guys. Don't even think about selling a car with seats like this because you can fix them up uh, for about 20 bucks and a few hours of your time. So uh, the passenger seat is not as bad, uh, but of course it still does have a lot of the fading. Uh, you can see here these little tiny cracks uh, in the black leather have lost its pigment and the back seat, like on most cars, is not horrible. But again, we have uh, some of this going on. And guys, full disclosure, this is not the original 409,000 mile uh, interior of this car. This M5 actually came with a really cool Silverstone leather seats, but the previous owner said they were in pretty rough condition. I have the original window sticker, which is really cool. Uh, but the previous owner said they were in pretty bad condition. Uh, so he had found some seats uh, out of another 2000 E39 M5. And I believe that these have about 200,000 miles on them, uh, but that is not 100% confirmed. But either way, uh, they're in pretty rough shape. I think this is uh, along the lines of an older 20 year old German car. Uh, so really this applies to pretty much every single car that's out there. So if you guys watch the Corvette engine restoration video, then you know all about these awesome white brushes. I got them on Amazon and everything that you guys see me use in today's video will be linked down below. So I went with the white brushes. They're the softest used for carpet and upholstery. And these will clean up your seats or interior in short order because you're going to attach them to a drill. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm cleaning these seats here in a minute. Uh, but these are the two contenders for the restoration of the black leather. Uh, first up, we have Kiwi Leather Dye. This is the same stuff that your great great grandfather used to shine up his black leather shoes. This works really well to uh, dye the black leather in a car and then you condition it with a good leather conditioner. But we're going to put that up against this stuff. I've never used it. I found it on Amazon. It has really good reviews. Doc Bailey's Leather Black. It cleans, preserves, waterproofs, and restores color. So this has a dye in it uh, and it is meant to be used is a one-step process. So basically wipe it on, wipe it off, and you're done. So we're going to see how well this works. And without further ado, let's get to surface preparation. My first step in preparing these seats was a good vacuum. Now this is all pretty self-explanatory, but a good tip here is to use a soft bristle brush to agitate the dirt and debris that's embedded in the seat. This is also a good thing to do during normal interior cleaning so this dirt and debris doesn't dig itself into the leather and damage it. Next I use used an upholstery cleaner spray on the leather and then it was time for the white brush on the drill. Now remember when you get these there are different brushes depending on what you're doing and the white ones are super soft and they're meant for things like leather. They won't damage anything and will clean seats up quickly but remember you don't have to apply a lot of pressure here. Be gentle, have fun, and wipe with a microfiber often. Last up is spraying the leather with a 50-50 mix of rubbing alcohol and water. I like to apply this to the entire seat and then wipe it away with a clean microfiber. This is a final cleaning step that removes grease and oil so you're applying your dye to a clean, dry, and contaminant-free surface. Now don't worry, we're going to be conditioning this leather later on in the video. Alright guys, it's been a half hour, it's 85 degrees out, and this seat is totally dry and ready to be dyed uh, or dyed and conditioned with this stuff. And the seat does look worse than it did before because now we have all of the grease and grime off of it uh, so it looks much more faded but this actually means that it's really clean so I've done a tape line here uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the Kiwi leather dye on this side and then the Doc Bailey's on this side uh, all you have to do is shake this up really well flip it upside down and then just kind of push down a little bit and it will automatically dispense a little bit of dye. You don't have to go too crazy with this uh, and you can do multiple coats, but we're just gonna do a little area right here. And then the Doc Bailey's does give you a little sponge applicator 
uh, to apply the dye. So what we're gonna do is just do exactly what they say on the directions, which is literally just put this on and go. According to uh, the directions, you don't even have to clean the leather. This does it for you. So this is kind of a one step, uh, but use common sense, guys. I would definitely still at least vacuum the seats. This doesn't really take all that long. And for me, I think removing all the oils and whatnot from the leather with the rubbing alcohol uh, is definitely the way to go if you're gonna be doing uh, this work. Not that it's a lot of work, but you wanna do a good job. So let's just apply a little tiny bit more and we're just gonna rub it in here like the directions say. Okay, so I think these are both uh, fully applied. Let's peel the tape away, kind of take a look. And let me get up close for you guys. So they give you this white cloth in the Doc Bailey's kit so you can buff away any excess product after you've let it soak in for about a minute or two. And then at that point, you're done with the Doc Bailey side. So this is a finished product right here, whereas the Kiwi side will still require the leather conditioner. And I must say, my initial reaction here is that this does look a tiny bit darker, uh, but I don't like the shine to it. This is a much glossier finish, whereas this looks more like the matte finish that comes on a brand new factory car with a leather interior. That's what you want. You don't want it to be all shiny like this. Uh, and what I'm thinking here is that we can do multiple coats of the Doc Baileys, uh, and it's gonna still have this matte finish where if we do multiple coats of this, it's just gonna get shinier and shinier and then we have to wait overnight before we can apply the leather conditioner. So I've never really noticed this on other cars that I've done. I've applied this on many other black leather seats and it always comes out really nice, uh, but there is that extra step of waiting overnight before you can apply the conditioner and polish it. Uh, and putting it up against this finish here, it does look much glossier. And this makes perfect sense since the Kiwi was originally designed uh, to be used on dress shoes and boots you'd want a glossy finish for that so i think for this project we're going to go with the doc baileys again guys i bought this stuff on my own i just wanted to find uh the easiest and best product for a black leather interior uh and something else that i'm thinking with the doc baileys is since it's a conditioner uh as well as a dye and it has a wax to protect the leather it's going to work out really nicely because this car has the full leather interior package so it actually has real leather on the door panels and on the dash so i can treat basically the entire car with one product and you're done after about an hour this is not going to take very long to apply let sit for a minute and then wipe away whereas with the kiwi we have to wait overnight so right now i'm going to do a tape line right down the middle and really show you guys the difference between treated and untreated. I just finished up applying the Doc Baileys on this side of the seat and it is looking amazing guys. And this is so much fun because it's so easy. All you're doing, like you saw, is taking a sponge and rubbing it on the seat and it dries instantly uh, and looks amazing. And the leather feels so much softer. It just soaks this stuff right up. So I may do a second coat uh, or I might not because this is looking so good, but just take a look here. You can see how faded the untreated side is compared to this that looks practically brand new in this section. Uh, now, of course, in the bolsters, you're still gonna see little cracks. I mean, it is a very, very used seat, but this looks a million times better now that we have filled in all the pores of the leather uh, with the dye that's in the Doc Baileys. And this is very nice and conditioned and softer now. Uh, it just feels awesome. So uh, this is probably only gonna take me about an hour to do the entire car and then we're done so I might just do those two coats because it's just that easy uh, and then I'm also going to treat things like the center console the door panels and the dash so let me do uh, the entire car wait a minute hang on first let me take away this tape what am I thinking let's take the tape away look at the difference with our tape line faded treated looks amazing so I'm going to go ahead do the entire car and I can't wait to show you guys how this turns out
Every leather interior surface of my 2000 E39 has been treated and guys, this thing looks absolutely amazing on the inside. I am so excited to show you the results. Uh, so the full leather interior package cars have a ton of leather. So the dash, the door panels, the center console, and even this area over the steering column is made of leather, obviously the steering wheel. So that has all been treated. It all looks so, so good. Although I have to say the door panels and the dash and whatnot were in really nice condition uh, before, but they just look brand new now and guys just take a look at how perfect these seats are i need to get i need to get a little bit of lube in that hinge right there but these seats are exactly what i was hoping for so they have a factory matte finish to them there is basically no gloss i know it's a sunny day right now uh, but there's nothing too shiny on these seats they don't look overdone they don't look like i spent hours spray painting them it doesn't look like we masked the issue just by jamming a bunch of high gloss goop on these things uh, they just look perfectly clean and in really really nice condition now so the leather black uh, was applied twice I did two applications of the leather black uh, and I know it's a sunny day guys I know this probably isn't gonna come out as nicely on camera as it does in person but these things are just looking so so nice guys this just looks like an interior out of a car with much less mileage on it so take a look at the passenger seat as well looking very very nice and we got in all the stitched areas, all the little crevices of the seat uh, are done. And no longer do we have a completely faded uh, bolster here on the driver's seat and this area here. Although this was in the worst condition, it looks totally, totally acceptable, guys. Take a look at this from far away. So the seats look really awesome. The back seats, of course, look the same. We treated the back of the seats as well. All of the door panels have been treated. And this interior is just absolutely gorgeous now. I'm really, really excited to show this off. I'm bringing it to a, uh, a German car show in a few days and people are gonna think that this thing has a lot less than 409,000 miles or 200,000 miles on the interior or whatever the case may be. All right guys, that'll do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe if you're new and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next video.